Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, the dogs are not gonna let me do this alone today. This video, I'm gonna be redoing my guest room. I thought I would take you along for this. I hope you enjoy it. I know it's a little bit different than my like luxury bag talk that's normally what's on my channel. I'm seeing a lot of home organization and DIY projects on YouTube right now, so I thought I'd join it. I'm gonna give you a tour of my guest bedroom. When you come in the door, there, this is the door to the bathroom. The door here is like this sliding door, so they're like completely different and I've always hated that. So we're gonna paint both of the doors black. That is the plan. I do have a wall color for the room, which I'm gonna show you later. Um, I have removed all the artwork already because I buy original artwork and that is copyrighted. I redid this bed over on my TikTok, so this is pretty much gonna stay the same, but the walls are gonna change, my TV area is gonna change. When I decided to make this space the TV area, I just wanted to get something quickly, and I hate the sofa because the cushions slide forward when you sit. It's just so uncomfortable, so I've ordered a new sofa. The new table has already come. There's shipping delays, so think this will probably be shot over several days because I'm still waiting on a lot of the things to come in. All of these magazines used to be like under the sofa as like a stylized thing. So those are gonna go to a new spot. I've got a new TV cabinet coming. This shelf usually is full of art. If you do wanna see the artists that I have in my house, you can check out my Instagram because I tag all of them there. And yeah, um, there used to be a rug here as well, but again, the dog, this little one, is not very well house trained yet, so I won't be putting down a rug, but a lot will be changing in here. I can't wait to show you the process. So the first step is to just take out all of the small little things out of the room. I want to be there and baby dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. To just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time. And the fun thing I forgot to tell you is that the AC is broken in this room, so probably gonna get real sweaty. Oh, you what a good time looks like. You can do better, so much better. So I have just covered the furniture that I moved to the center of the room in some plastic and now I'm going to tape only really the ceiling um, around the edges of the door and the switches and stuff. I don't tape near the floor. There's a cleaner that you can just wipe off any paint that gets down there. The taping is done and now I'm going to show you the paint color. So I have it down here. Let me just open this up. A really easy way to open your paint is with a screwdriver. I've just mixed it up and it's this beautiful gray color. So this is what you will need. You'll need your paint, something to stir it up, a flathead screwdriver to open it, a brush for the edging, and a roller for the bigger areas and this paint tray. Also line the edges of the wall with paper to catch any paint that might drip on the floor. Gonna do the rest of the walls off camera. Good morning, everyone. So we are on day two. I finished the first coat last night, but it was like too dark to really check in. Today I'm gonna be doing the second coat, and then I will hopefully finish in daylight. It's quite gloomy today, so I hope that the color is gonna show up like it should. It's a nice, like neutral gray color. So I will check back in with you after the second coat and keep you posted. 
finished the second coat. Um, it's looking more solid, but there are some spots. I don't know if you can see it here, but there's still like a little bit of white showing. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I'm gonna do a third coat. The edging looks fine though, so I'm not going to edge it for the third time. Otherwise, I think the edging will become too dark in comparison to the walls. That means that my third coat is gonna go a lot faster because the edging takes forever. I'm so sweaty, I'm sure you can see. This room is so hot. The AC's not working and I've got the window open and it's quite a hot day. It's getting there, so I'm really happy. And I can't wait to put the room back together. Unfortunately, some of my furniture is gonna take quite a while to come. I think, you know, due to everything happening, there are shipment delays. Guys, it's been two days since I've checked in. Yesterday the AC was fixed. I'm just gonna show you how I clean up the baseboards. This goo gone and just like a paper towel and it will take this right off. Let me just show you. Check in with you in a day or two when I've got more things put back together. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since I've checked in and the color is up on the wall. It's this gorgeous gray color. See how it looks with the plant there. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. It looks so good. It took me three coats to do, which I thought it would be done in two. And I made a mistake I wanted to tell you about. So whoever painted this room before I moved into this place did not do a very professional job. I should have taken sandpaper to the walls and fixed the drips. I think what they did is they wanted to do it in as few coats as possible and they just slapped the paint on there so when it dried it was not like very even. A tip, if you are gonna paint your walls, do the prep work. Just take a light sandpaper. If you see any spots that need to be sanded down, like do that. These are the doors we're gonna be painting. I've always hated the brown doors in my house. I also have these like extra items and then I have one item in my bathroom too. I'll just show you. Um, this little seat here that I hang towels on, I wanna paint that black as well because I'm gonna remove these things underneath and then I think it'll just match a little bit better with the bathroom. I'm just gonna prep this door and that door by taping around it. I'm painting this door inside and out, so it might have to be done in phases. I'm also gonna lay some paper down on the floor and then I'll get changed and get started for the messy part. You know the drama. It's been several days since I checked in with you. The deliveries are super delayed right now and I finally did get the sofa and the curtains have finally come. It is now the 3rd of May and I made my initial orders for this project starting the 10th of April. So that gives you an idea of how long some of these deliveries are taking. We are waiting on now is the TV stand from West Elm. There's also one throw pillow and a lamp. I'm gonna show you how I hang the curtains and a really easy DIY of how you can hem them with no sewing. This is how I hem all my curtains and they've held up fine for years. And I think I'm just gonna show you the room after that because my H&M throw pillow covers I ordered actually before I started this project. I didn't expect to use them in this room but I wanna use them on the new sofa. I have no idea where that order is. I ordered, I think it was around the 1st of April. I have emailed customer service twice and I have had no response. That's the same story with the West Elm TV cabinet. I've emailed customer service. There's been no reply as to when my delivery is coming. So I think I'll just have to wrap it up after I put these curtains up because this video has now taken me weeks, like nearly a month to film. These are the curtains. They're a little blown out on camera. They're like a black with pink flowers and green, which I think ties in the colors of the room perfectly. I also got new curtain fixtures that are in black because the previous ones are in white. Luckily, they're both from Ikea, so I don't have to make new holes in the wall. I just have to exchange the hardware out, and I have the new curtain rod as well. 
So the first step is to hang the curtains and then we're gonna pin them to the length that we wanna hem them. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need scissors, some like little pins, they're just like straight pins. If you don't have these, safety pins could work. And stitch witchery. I have no idea where you get this in the UAE, but I get mine every time I go home. I keep this on hand. Since they're hung up, I'm just sitting on the floor with them and you can see like how much extra length there is. You take your scissors and you're just gonna trim several inches away. Like you wanna leave a good like maybe six inches because we, we can trim it up later. So don't worry about the excess. Now that I have this shorter length to work with, take your pins or your safety pins. I like mine to puddle slightly on the floor, but not a lot. You don't wanna pull down because then if there's tension and it comes back up, you wanna just very loosely and lightly pin this corner first. I just go up like this, only because you really want the edges to be your point. And then all you have to do is let the fabric fall and pin it where it like naturally wants to lay. Pin in this straight line in this way and then take a look at it once it's all done and see if you need to make any adjustments. The curtain has been pinned. The next step is to do the other three. Um, I'm gonna hang them up, do them in the same method like this and then take them all down and I'll meet you for the next step. Now my steamer is going, you can do this with an iron. This is easiest to do on your bed. I've just laid it down or like a countertop. I've laid the curtain flat this way on the board. So here's the end that I'm gonna be working with. Turn it so you see the back side where you have, your pins are gonna be on the front side. My stitch witchery, I've given some extra length. I kind of keep it over here. You're gonna work a little bit and then move it over a little bit and move it over. And you wanna make sure your curtain is straight. Starts getting turned, your hem might end up a little wonky, so it's best to just kind of shimmy the whole thing across like the bed or the counter as you go. You're gonna wanna take out the first two to three pins. For me, two. It depends on how far apart your pins are. And you're just gonna open this up. You're gonna start like outside the curtain. You want to place this just in the bottom and fold this back over. And just make sure you're very careful with your hands if you have a steamer and just hold this here and hold the steam on to start your hem. And I'm just going to check that. Perfect, it is sealed. You're just gonna take two pins out as you go, tuck the little stitch witchery down into the bottom, and just like I did, press and hold, press and hold, and you're gonna do this all the way to the end. Than five minutes to do. Um, you want to leave this sticking out, seal your last piece, and then you can take scissors and just chop off from each end the stitch with tree. I just like to go over the whole thing like one more time. Make sure you go over your ends really well because that is the hardest part to get to stick just because it's a little bit thicker of fabric. Take your scissors. Hold it here, close to where the fabric meets, but don't get too close. I don't mind a rough cut because this is going towards the wall. No one's gonna see it. You would have to be more careful with this step if you had a more sheer curtain. So there we go. This is done. This is the back, but this is the front of the bottom of the curtain. Like, it's so perfect and so nice. So now I'll just do the other three, hang these back up, and show you how it looks. So the curtains are done. It's hard to show you like with the light coming in that way, but I think you can see it better if I put the camera down here. They are perfectly hemmed. Hi love, so it has been over a week since I checked in last. So I was going to just film what I had so far, but then the next day, I received a call from West Elm to schedule my delivery, so I was like, okay, let me just wait for this delivery, and it was like several days out, so I received that delivery. When West Elm delivered, the lamp that I ordered, not the right lamp, so I don't have a lamp in the corner. I have to find a new one. H&M delivery after multiple emails 
to customer service finally answered. My order was canceled due to lack of stock. The pillows on the sofa are not going to be the final ones until I can go out and do some shopping. Even though things are relaxing here in Dubai a little bit, I'm still staying in as much as possible. I go out, I went and got my hair done. I did do that. I wore my mask the whole time, which is required by the Dubai government. You have to wear a mask when you go out. Freeze have been quite a mess during this time. So this project, which I thought would take two weeks, has now taken me nearly six weeks to film. I am showing the artwork because I requested permission from the artists if I could share it with you and they agreed. If you are interested in the artworks, their socials and websites will be linked below. I'm gonna show you the final look of my guest room. in this corner. So I painted the doors black because as you can see they're different styles. I thought that was a nice way to just make them feel more like part of the room. And also I have this black mirror here. I think it's from Ikea? I don't know. I've had it for a while. This little piece was just from some home store. I got it a long time ago so I don't actually remember where it's from. I'm sorry. And then we move over here. I've had these for a while as well. I just put them back. On the wardrobes over here, I have changed the knobs to gold. I will link them in the description because they should still be available. They're from Zara Home. I have put the magazines above. Got rid of the big boxes. I think it opened this up quite a bit. Then we move on to my bed. I've had this bed since I lived in New York. It's from a company called Fabulous and Baroque. It is solid wood. It's a good sturdy bed. I brought it over with all of my other furniture to Dubai. I'm not sure if they ship overseas, but I would be worried about how much it would cost. So these artworks are by an artist located in Miami. His name is Danny. I will have his information linked below. I used to have them over this exact bed when I lived in Miami because I moved from New York to Miami then to Dubai and this bed has gone with me all three moves. And the palm leaf bedding is from H&M Home. I got it on a sale a while ago. If you saw my TikTok, I changed the pillows here. The pink velvet ones are from a store here called 2XL. And the one in front is from Zara Home. I believe it's like a gold leather on front. I also got that on sale a while ago. I don't know if it's still available. I will link everything I can find or something similar below. Link it on the end is from TJ Maxx in the US that I've had for years. On the side tables, actually nesting tables I got from Zara. They're marble on the top with gold accents. The leaf is from H&M Home and the coasters are from Anthropology, but I picked them up in the Anthropology in the UK. At the bottom of the bed, I keep a basket of blankets and then at night, like you can also put the pillows in the basket too. It has a tan color, but I painted it black. I think it just matches a lot better. It's such a great way to keep everything neat while you're sleeping at night. On this side, the table is slightly bigger, and then I have a bigger leaf as well with the same anthropology coaster over here. So over the sofa, we have a gallery wall of prints that I picked up while I was in New York. On the back side of Chelsea Market, there's an artists and fleas section, and this artist, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it exactly right, but I think it's Verrier handcrafted. I will link her website below. She does the most gorgeous prints and they're like fashion based. So I just think they're so beautiful. And I just framed them in different ways. Had this up for I think about two years now. Kept the nails in the wall while I painted and I hung them back up after I finished. The sofa is from Home Center. So I had the bench first. I switched this out previously and then when I saw this sofa it actually matched perfectly like the style of it. Typically I would say if you're having a hard time matching your like sofas, try to get them from the same place but this kind of worked out where they look really good together but this one's from Home Center and this one's from West Elm. The center table is from The One. The only thing I'm disappointed in is that this is like 
like a plastic. Did you hear that? I thought it was a marble when I ordered it, but I probably should have known because the price was pretty cheap. Pillows, like I said, are just here for now. These are pillow covers I had. These are all from H&M Home, but previous collections. I think this one is still available. The curtains were like a shock. They're actually from Ikea. Quality is amazing, which I was very surprised with. They actually feel quite silky and they don't have that plasticky look that like cheaper curtains usually have. And they are like room darkening. The long pillow is from West Elm and I think the fringe one is from H&M but a long time ago. Again, it was in my pillow stock. This is my dog, Meatball. Just have a little tray with some candles in the window. I don't remember where I got this tray. I get all of my artificial trees from Bloomer, I think that's how you say it. I will link their website below. They're amazing, they're quite pricey, but they look so much better than a lot of cheap artificial trees. They actually look kind of real. And then the pot is Zara Home. The TV stand is the West Elm one. I waited so long to arrive, but I'm so happy it's here. And this is a gypsum wall, so it would take the weight of this large TV. So I have like a stand that it sits on. Obviously it's not the most ideal, but I don't like setting the TV on top of the cabinet. So this type of stand I think is a good option if you can't hang it on the wall. And then I have this little guy. He's supposed to be Andy Warhol. I forget the brand of this. I've had him for a while. And I ordered this little pool float looking dish from Nisnas, the website over here in the UAE. And then this vase is from Homebox. They were all, it was supposed to go together with this vase, like all three of them, but that one's a little too tall that it sticks up near the TV. I think it'll probably end up here on this art shelf because I do like to put a few little objects because then it breaks up the frames. I hope you guys liked this. I know this took way way longer and like so much has changed in the world during this process. I know I haven't been super active on social media and YouTube during this time. Now that restrictions are lifted a little bit, I just feel a little sense of hope again and I feel like creating again and I'm ready to get back here and actually I'm really feeling inspired by YouTube and I want to focus on this channel. Please subscribe, I would love to have you here and I hope you're all safe and healthy and well. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.